Hello everybody, in this video I'll be covering another basic mathematics tutorial and this time we'll be looking at quadratic equations and how to factorize them and get their x values. Okay, so just the basics on quadratic, let's, let's take an equation x squared plus 5x plus 6. Over here we have to find two numbers that add to 5 and two numbers that multiply to 6, so basically x plus y equals 5, if we make it simultaneous equation, x, y equals 6, just to better represent um, what you need to do. Um, so the factors of 6 um, are 6 and 1, 2 and 3. So if we try 6 and 1, then we'll get our middle value as 7x, as x plus 6, x plus 1, sorry, x plus 1, will give us x squared plus 7x plus 6. We want 5x. So let's try 2 over 2, 2 and 3. x plus 2, x plus 3. So that will give us x squared plus 5x plus 6, what we wanted. So we know that this is our, this is our factorized quadratic equation. And to find the x values, we, we just do this, we get something like this. And this is how you solve a normal quadratic equation. But using basic mathematics, we can use a quicker method and we can do it much quicker. Okay, so looking at the same problem, looking back at our older videos, I covered one about the vertically and crosswise method, the vertically and crosswise multiplication method and this is something that can be used and applied in quadratic equations as well so let's break this down so the first part x squared the coefficient is 1 let's just write that down and we have to find factors that multiply to 1 which is of course it has to be 1 1 and 1 multiply to 1 then we would find factors that multiply to 6. That could either be 6 and 1, or I'll write this another, or 3 and 2. And then our last step to get this value, we would do 1 times 1, cross multiplication, and then add this. So 1 times 6 plus 1 times 1, that would give us a middle value of 7x. 2 times 1 plus 3 times 1, that would give us a value of 5x. And don't forget, this is, this is x here, x here. Okay, so over here, if we multiply this out, if we have something like this, 1x, 1x, and 3, and 2, basically check this out, we would first do this, we would get x squared, then we would do, um, the let's do this side so it's easier, we would get 6, and then 1x times 2 plus 3, 3 times 1x would be plus 5x, see? Very simple, very easy. Okay, let's continue on. But this time we'll look at a problem that involves two or more as the coefficient of x squared. So looking at the equation, 2x squared plus 7x plus 5. In this equation, we can once again break it down. Firstly, what are the factors of 2? Of course, it's a prime number. The factors have to be 2x and 1x, which would, which would multiply to give us 2x squared. Let me just write this in a better color so it's easier to understand. So we, rep we can represent 2x squared with this. And then we can represent 5 with 5 and, with five and 1, because those are the only factors that represent 5. So 5 and 1. And as you can see, e when we to find 7x, we reduce 2x times 1 plus plus 5 times 1x. And what does that give us? Well, that gives us 7x. So we got this too. So our equation would then be x plus 5 
and x plus 1. And for this one, we have, I forgot to mention this, but for this one, we have 1x and 3 and 1x and 2. We basically group the top one and the bottom one, like that. See, look what I did here. Okay, looking at more examples, let me just clear the room here. Okay, another example could be 2x squared minus 5x minus 3. So again, we take factors of 2, which there are 2 and 1, factors of minus 3, which can be either minus 3 and 1 or minus 1 and 3. And this can be represented in four ways, because you can arrange, you can put this in the top or uh, or in the bottom. So then, let me just write all of them out. Okay, so. Let's test this out. This would give us. Let me just write the x here so it doesn't get confusing. Okay. So here you get 2x squared. Here you get minus 3. 2x. 2x times 1 is 2x plus minus 3 times 1x is minus 3x. So 2x plus minus 3x is minus x, which is wrong. The next one, 2x squared. Same thing, guys. Minus 3. 2x times minus 1 is minus 1 is minus 2x plus 3x is x plus x. This is also wrong. 2x squared minus 3. This is 6x minus x, which is plus 5x. We're getting close. And then our last option here, which is probably the one that's correct, would be... Over here, we have 2x squared minus 3. 2x times minus 3 is minus 6 plus x, which is minus 5x. So we got our answer. After practice and after looking at this, you can kind of understand 2x times minus 3 is minus 6x. So, and then plus x would give us 5x. With practice, it becomes much quicker and you can narrow down your options much faster. Okay, let's look at one last, let's, let's look at some more problems. Okay, so, let's look at a little bit, one, one that's a little bit harder. For example, 6x squared plus 11x plus 3, okay. So here, let's break it down into its factors. Um... <coughs> This would be 6 and 1, 3 and 1, or 6 and 1 and 1 and 3, or 3, 2, um, 3, 1, 3, 2, 1, 3. These are all the combinations that it could be. Let's test it out for all of them. Okay, 6x squared plus 3, 6x times 1 is 6x plus 3x is 9x, so this is wrong. 6x times 1x is 6x squared, 6x, 1 times 3 is 3, 3 times 6x is 18x plus 1x is 19x, that's wrong. 6x squared for the first one, 3, 3x plus 6x is 9x, again, same thing as here, which is also wrong, and the last one, let's look at this, it's, it's correct, plus 3, and then 3x times 3 is 9x, plus 1 times 2x is 11x, so we got it. 
I'm deliberately showing you guys all these combinations so you it, you guys understand it. But when you look at the when you look at this equation, you understand that it can it cannot possibly be six and one because the numbers would either be too too uh, too big or too small. So you for, you would first try the three and two option because that that would give you more chance of getting it right. Okay. Um. Last thing I want to show you about this quadratic equation, because I'm running out of time here, is we, we know the formula for the quadratic equation is um, negative b plus or minus in root b squared uh, minus 4ac, and this is all over 2a. We know this formula. Now, something that you can do to make this easier or um, faster for some people and this is used in Vedic mathematics as well, is you could take, just using algebraic manipulation, you could take the 2a on the other side, because x is equal to this, 2a on the other side, minus, and then you take this b on the other side as well. So then you would get something like this. 2a, 2ax plus b equals plus or minus b squared minus 4ac and this is actually um, can be faster at times because it's um, put in a much simpler format and easier to simplify but all this is is you just in, um, you're you take the term ax squared plus um, you just take it in this format ax squared um, and you can do it ax squared plus bx plus c and you can solve it so that's all i want to show you guys in this video in the next video um and it will be the last video i'll be looking at how to do simultaneous equations faster thank you and see you in the next video